Okay guys, today in the shop we have a Toro snowblower. This is the Powermax model, heavy duty OHXE. And the problem that they're having is the motor is surging up and down. On a quick look, I did see that the governor spring was broken. So, but pretty much on this video, I'm gonna show you how to get to that carburetor for whatever reason you need to get to it and take it out. So I'm gonna start the machine up so you can hear how it idles. So you can hear the surge, how it was going up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, I believe it's going to be that governor spring, but we're going to replace that. And if it's not, we're going to put it in the uh, carburetor cleaner, the ultrasonic cleaner, and that'll solve the problem. But let's dig into it. All right. So looking around this, there's going to be some bolts that hold this whole assembly on. This all needs to come off. Now, this unit has been worked on numerous times <clears throat> by different people. So there, it looks like there are some different size bolts and things that are put on here. So disregard any socket sizes I'm going to give you, but primarily you should only need a seven millimeter or an eight millimeter and 10 millimeter socket for all these little bolts or these little nuts here. And there's going to be one on the side here. So you got one here, you got one here, one here, and you're going to have, let's see down here, one there, one there. There will be two right here. These were grounded off. And back here, you're going to have a half inch and a half inch. This one's already missing. So let's get into it. We're gonna take all these bolts off and we'll go to the next step. Over here, not sure what size these were, but I believe they were tens. Looks like they were grounded off and they are no longer connected back there. So I am going to skip those two and we're gonna come around here. Uh, there's one missing there, but this one is a half inch. Now this cover here, you should be able to just pull this up. There is a little lip down in the back there. So you gotta kind of tilt this up on an angle, and pull it up out of there, just like that. <clears throat> on this piece here, you can pretty much, oh, came off already, but just slide this forward. Now this will be held on. This is your primer here. It will be held on by that. Um, if you look down here, you get some light on here. And, uh, nope, there's no clip on there. Okay. Well, there would normally be a clip on there that you can pinch with a pair of pliers and pull the clip up. But in this case, it looks like that's just gonna pull right off of there just like that. Now you should be able to bring this right out of the way to set it there. All right, now you wanna come over here and <clears throat> the gas is off, but if it's horizontal like that, you wanna turn it and shut the gas off. You will see a mark on the side, um, which pretty much shows you where's on and off. But turn it off because this hose here, which does have that little clamp on the bottom there, you can see um we want to squeeze that in you may need pliers squeeze that in pull that clamp up uh we're gonna need to get a little bowl as soon as we pull that line off you are gonna drip some fuel out so we'll get a little bowl or get yourself a bolt that will fit within this hose don't put too big of a bolt because you don't want to stretch your hose out and uh crack the hose or whatever but get a little bolt that you can stick up in there and kind of clog the hose up there pull that line off of there a little bit of gas dripping, and I got a little quarter inch bolt. I'm just gonna stick it right in there like that. Back here, you can see you'll have your throttle cable coming in. Well, it's not really cable. Um, and you have your governor spring, which pretty much goes down the center of it. All right, that spring is broken, you can see. And your this is your throttle here. All right, so the way to get that off, we could turn the throttle and just pull straight up on it just like that and here's our spring this is what we're going to be replacing here so now at this point your carburetor is pretty much ready to slide off now keep in mind you are going to have a gasket here and when you slide it off there is going to be one in the back 
this is a time where you want to take a picture to, to you know see how the gasket goes back on the, the gasket in the front will be different than the one in the back so you don't want to mix them up or when you put it back together it's either not going to start or it's going to run like crap so just keep note of your gaskets what they look like and exactly how they went on that's our front one and we can slide our carburetor off now and a lot of times a gasket will stick to the back of this like this one did here um, but sometimes it will be up here all right but that's your uh, carburetor there that's the gasket on the back and that's how you take it out if you need to know how to replace that governor spring, then keep on watching in the video. We're going to get into that now. You can see this is your throttle, and there's a spring. This actually, this throttle actually runs right down through the center of the spring. You can see there. All right, and we are missing our spring here, which basically uh, came out and had a little hook on it. You will see there's a little pinhole right there which is where that spring goes, all right? And that is why I believe our motor was surging there. We're gonna take off this seven millimeter right here, and then up here, there's another seven millimeter. And over here, there's going to be another one, which looks like it's missing. So we'll go ahead and take those two off, and then we should be able to pull this forward just a little bit enough to get in there to get to the spring, all right? So now you should be able to pull forward on this a little bit. So now if I pull this throttle forward, you can see where it actually pivots on there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, right there. <clears throat> All right, and that's where our spring here is connected to. And it's just enough to, it's hard to see with the camera, but when I get my new spring, it's just enough to get my hand in there and place it back down there's a little hole in there which is hard to see on the camera but there's another hole right next to where that throttle goes on there so basically i'm gonna get myself a long set on either of those pliers that can reach all the way down in there to that to where that spring's hooked and i'm just gonna pull up on it and it can pull that spring right out and then once you have it unhooked you can pretty much just slide it right off of your uh, just like that right off of your throttle cable there so we got our new spring here. As you can see, it does have the hook on both ends. Remember, it slides right down the uh, the linkage there. So we're gonna stick the spring up on there. This is really hard to do with one hand here. And we're just gonna kind of feed it on down. All right. So after you have this spring slid up your linkage here, um, you pretty and I know you can't really see in there with the camera, but the other end, the other hook. Once you slide it up there, you're actually able to turn this end with your hand of the spring and you'll be able to turn that hook and you're going to have to kind of just move it around until it drops in, um, which is what I just did. I got it to drop in back there and it wasn't that hard. It took about a minute and now you can see I got 10 nice tension on this spring and we're going to bring our carburetor back up. Or you can slide it on. Make sure if your gasket isn't still in the back, you put your gasket on first that came off of here. And you can slide your carburetor on. Then you can grab your linkage here. Drop your throttle linkage back in there. And now you can pull the rest of your spring up. I'm probably going to have to use two hands to do this. But you can pull the rest of this spring up here. Yeah, I'm going to need another hand. All right, sorry, I had to set the phone down. So actually, I was able to uh, put it on just by hand. Um, that little hook, like that, I bent it out a little bit straight so that it would drop in there, and then I just kind of uh, closed it back up. So now it's all back on there, and uh, good to go. You can proceed to finish putting your carburetor on, put the other gasket back right here, same way that it came off. Put that back on. And uh, you want to put your fuel lines back up. Don't forget to reconnect your uh, your primer from here. The one line that we disconnected when we first took that cover off. Put your cover back on. Put your bolts on. And that's how you remove the carburetor and fix that governor spring on the Toro 1028 snowblower. Uh, please, guys, hit subscribe below. Give me a like. See you next time.